Hey everybody, Zach Collins here with Scorpion Racing Products. I wanted to take some time today to explain to you what a rocker arm is and what it functions as inside the engine. So all push rod engines, uh, internal combustion engines that utilize push rods in the valve train have a rocker arm in the valve train itself. Uh, overhead cam engines do not have rocker arms. They have what's called a follower, so that's different. Uh, today I want to explain to you what a rocker arm is and how it functions inside the engine. Um, so the rocker arm is this blue part here with the scorpion on it. Uh, sits on top of the cylinder head, mounted with a pedestal and a bolt in this case. Sometimes it's uh, slid over a stud, sometimes it's mounted on a shaft to a stand. Uh, that would be a stud mount or shaft mount. These, for this LS1 engine that we have here to demonstrate on, are pedestal mount. Um, so a rocker arm is nothing more than a reciprocating lever arm. Basically what it does is it transfers the upward motion of the push rod as the camshaft lobe forces the lifter up, which pushes the push rod up in the valve train. Uh, that then lifts the back end of the rocker arm. The rocker arm pivots about its pivot point here, the trunnion or the fulcrum, and then the front of the rocker arm has a downward motion that then opens the valve into the cylinder. So it basically converts and transfers that upward motion of the push rod into downward motion at the valve to open the valve into the cylinder to let the air and fuel in or to let the burnt air and fuel out the exhaust side. Um, they have various ratios. The rocker arm ratio determines how much it multiplies the camshaft lobe lift by. So if you have a rocker arm ratio, for example, that's 1.5, that means that rocker arm is going to open the valve 1.5 times the amount the camshaft lobe lift is. So if that camshaft lobe lift is a half inch or 500 thousandths, then the valve is actually going to open three quarters of an inch or 750 thousandths. So you'll see here I have one rocker that's labeled a 1.7, one that's marked a 1.8. That means this rocker is going to multiply the lobe lift by 1.7 times this rocker is going to multiply the lobe lift by 1.8 times. So this is actually going to open the valve further with the same camshaft. Uh, another purpose of the rocker arm that it assists with in severe cases and aggressive applications is dampening some of the harmonics from the cylinder side of the valve train. So there's a lot of force on the face of the valve from the combustion process and there's a lot of motion going on and there's a little bit of turbulence with things moving in different directions at the same time so that valve definitely gets acted on by all those forces and this rocker arm actually deflects a little bit and absorbs some of that energy so that it's not transmitted back down into the valve train for better harmonics and better performance and higher horsepower uh, so i'm going to roll this engine over in the normal direction of rotation just to show you what the rocker arm does and what it looks like at slow speed in its function Right now, this valve is closed. Uh, this rocker arm is in its seated position. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the engine over in the normal direction of rotation. And you'll see that as the camshaft lobe starts to come over on the opening ramp, it'll actually cause the push rod to push the back of the rocker arm up. It just started opening right there. And as the back of the rocker arm comes up, it's actually forcing the nose of the rocker arm down 1.8 times the amount the tail is going up. So, the tail right there was at full lift, and now it's gonna go ahead and close as it comes back down on the closing side of the camshaft lobe, and then it's gonna go ahead and have the valve fully closed. So the rocker arm basically is a reciprocating lever arm that allows the upward motion of the push rod to be transmitted and, and converted to downward motion at the valve to open the valve. So it's a reciprocating lever arm that opens the valve in the engine and also dampens some of the harmonics from some of the combustion process. So I hope you understand a little bit more about what a rocker arm is and what it does, what its function and purpose are within the engine. If you have any additional questions or information that you need, you can visit our website at www.scorpionracingproducts.com or you can feel free to call our tech line at 352-512-0800 and we'd be more than happy to help you.